official.streetsmarks.gmail.com is how you want to contact us. Listen to us right here exclusively on YouTube, Street Smart Audio, or fuck with us. Official.streetsmarks on SoundCloud and IG, Street Smart fan page on Facebook, Street underscore Smarks on Twitter, ECW Memories with the Goofs. Courtesy of PWInsider.com, Neckbeard. Neck What's up, Neckbeazy? This week in wrestling history as we see fit, June 4th, 1973. The third Triple Crown champion, Mikey Whipwreck, was born today, that day. 1984, at a live event in Memphis, Tennessee, featured the following results. Rick Rude beat Rick McCord. Johnny Willett and Mark Batten beat the Nightmare Number 1 and Porkchop Cash. Okay. Dutch Mantel and Scott Shannon uh, drew Coco Beware in Norville, Austin. Phil Hickerson and the Spoiler beat Tommy Rich and Eddie Gilbert via DQ. Oh, that's some bullshit. Jim Neidhart beat Austin Idol via DQ. Oh, the DQs this, this show. And Southern champion Jerry Lawler beat Kamala in 17 minutes and 39 seconds via count out. Bruh. A long Bruh. match for a count out. June 5th, 2000. Eric Bischoff defeated Terry Funk. <laughs> Good job, Easy E. For the WCW Hardcore title in Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, Terry, hold my dick. The match started with Ernest Miller attacking Funk while Bischoff did a karate demonstration. <laughs> However, the Funker took over and battled Miller and Bischoff back to the locker room. Funk then later returned. Wheeling Bischoff in a wheelbarrow after DDT Miller on a ramp ra- on the rampway. However, Vince Russo sent out the Mamelukes, Big Vito, and Johnny the Bull, who beat down Terry Funk and enabled Bischoff to get the win and the title. This actually happened on an edition of Monday Nitro. I, <laughs> the neck beard was not making this up. Leave your commentary out of it. We just want the facts, neck beard. <laughs> Funk got that ass whooped. That's all that matters. June 6th, 2000, in Knoxville, Tennessee, during a taping of WCW Thunder, Lieutenant Loco, Chavo Guerrero Jr., defeated Daphne, the defending champion, and Disco Inferno in a three-way dance to win the WCW Cruiserweight title. This will be the first major, major title change for Chavo, or title reign for Chavo, on the same show, Eric Bischoff awards Big Vito and Johnny the Bull the WCW Hardcore title, what? saying they could defend it as a duo. What? The night before, Vito and Johnny helped Eric Bischoff defeat Terry Funk for the belt. So Bischoff's reign as Hardcore champion ended 24 hours after it began. And via the transitive property, Big Vito and Johnny the Bull could also beat up Terry Funk. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. June 7th, 1962. Dory Funk Sr. wins his 10th NWA North American Heavyweight title, the Armorillo version, defeating Fritz Von Erich in Armorillo, Texas. Well, yeah, well, Fritz must have been a baby in 1962. Of course, Dory Funk won. Same day, 1987, Mike Rotundo defeated <laughs> Dory <laughs> Funk Jr. Ah, take that. To win the, the held up NWA Florida Heavyweight title in Orlando, Florida, beginning his third reign. The title had been held up a week earlier in Daytona after a match between the two. IRS strikes again. Same day, 2005. Rob Matrix defeated Tack in Cincinnati, Ohio to win the HWA television title, ending Tack's third rank. Shine up that HWA television. St- Wait a minute. How does the HWA have a television title and they're not even on TV? Well, you know, it doesn't even matter because I'm about to be their new television champion. But I guess I won't be on TV. (laughs) Maybe we'll be on YouTube or something. June 8th, 2002. During a stockholders meeting, this man was asked his thoughts on the yet-to-debut NWA TNA commenting, quote, I don't have any views on it because, wait, 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 wait. Quote, I don't have any views on it because I haven't seen it yet. Again, I think it's unusual. A very unusual approach. A very novel approach. But I don't know how you would promote 
when they have promotional, no promotional vehicle, then <laughs> I don't know how you would promote. <laughs> have no idea whether or not they'd be selling tickets in Huntsville. I think it is whether or not they'd be selling tickets in Huntsville. <laughs> <laughs> if they are, fine. But I don't know how you promote without having some sort of platform. It's a two-hour show. Oh, fuck it. I can't, I can't read all that shit. Plus, that Vince was too. So thank you. June 9th, 1932. Ed the Strangler Lewis defeated Dick... Terry Funk. <laughs> defeated Dick Sheik she- Hat pause, for the New York pause, State Athletic Commission pause. version of the World Heavyweight title. National Wrestling Association world champion Jim Londos was supposed to be the winner of this match, but he refused. So New York recognized Lewis as the new world champion, while the NWA continued to recognize Londos. Oh, wow. Same day, 1960. Nick Roberts and Art Nelson <laughs> defeated Dory Funk Sr. <laughs> and future promoter Bob Geigel to win the Armarillo version of the NWA North American Heavyweight title in Armarillo, Armarillo, Texas, ending their third reign. If Dory Funk Jr. was 94 in 1960, (laughs) then Sr. had to bid, what, at least 450, 451? Man, the the motherfuckers, they age like milk. And finally, June 10th, 1983, Harley Race defeats Ric Flair in St. Louis, Missouri (laughs) to win the NWA World Heavyweight title, beginning his seventh reign, the first wrestler to ever hold the title seven times and ending Flair's first reign. As a result, Race vacated the NWA Missouri Heavyweight title held up since May 13th and the NWA Central States Heavyweight title held once held since June 2nd, ending the 5th and 8th respective reigns of those titles. Damn. Just collecting the motherfuckers. Well, he was shit, and he was also part promoter. Oh, well, that makes sense. And finally, same day, 1998, David C. defeats Nick Densmore to win the NWA Ohio Valley heavyweight title in Jefferson, Indiana. You know, I tried to get a shot for that title because I went to Muncie, Indiana. Muncie, Indiana that year and that motherfucker ducked me that whole motherfucking summer. You're a bitch David C. I just want you to know and if you're still alive and if you're not paralyzed or nothing like that I'm still calling you out and if you don't accept, use a bitch. And on that note, and a few, just for you the Extreme Retro Review. Peace. Peace. Peace.